Hi y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week I wanted to talk about something that I personally love, which is the idea of a survival kit for highly sensitive people like myself. So being highly sensitive is totally a normal personality trait. About 15% of people are highly sensitive and it just means that you are a deep cognitive processor, so a deep thinker. Um, you're often overwhelmed easily by sensory stimulation and also you take in a lot of sensory stimulation. So in our modern world where I feel like everything is just so overstimulating, we all need a little bit of help or at least sensitive people need a little bit, a lot of bit of help. Um, so I came up with this idea, a kit, um, sort of like a go bag for highly sensitives. It's just full of everything that you would need. Um, that you can throw in your gym bag or in the back of your car or just have kind of ready and available whenever you need some support in your life, which is like every day, let's be real. <laughs> um, so I put it all in this bag here. Uh, it's just a simple kind of crossbody bag that I got from Target, it's the Joy Lab brand. Um, I like it a lot, mainly because of the color, to be honest. I don't think it's like the best quality ever, but it doesn't really matter that much to me because in this specific instance, this is supposed to be sort of like tossed into something else. Um, it's not particularly something I'm going to be carrying around as the fashion statement particularly, although it does match my sweater pretty well, I gotta say. Um, so yeah, let's just break into this and I'll talk about what I feel like are some of the best things for sensitive people just to have stashed away so you can live your best life just every day of your life. So let's break into this bad boy, shall we? First of all, let's look at this outer pocket here. These are just some staples of any any intelligent traveler these days. Some um, utensils, these are bamboo utensils. I got this as a sample at a conference. Uh, and it's just some chopsticks and a fork and a knife because I lost the spoon by accidentally throwing it away when I was in Puerto Rico recently. That was smart. And uh, of course, uh, an extra bag, just in case you might be on the run and you need to throw your stuff away. Um, not away, but over your shoulder, you know, hiking to the distance. And this is just a simple goodie and just kind of packs into itself and hooks on to the side of whatever you're carrying. Uh, moving on, we're gonna go through this quickly. The exterior pocket, everything everybody needs who is sensitive. This chapstick is my favorite. Um, it is the Lolita Evron chapstick. It smells and tastes like rose, it's all natural. It's just beautiful. I've like used up, I don't know, four or five of these recently. I use it every day, it's great. Um, fantastic if you're sensitive and have sensitive skin. The next thing I really suggest keeping in your go bag is some sort of rose water or lavender hydrosol, so like a body mist. This is from Nour Nourish Organic. Um, Non-GMO, cruelty-free, I just picked this one up. It's got a nice, really soft, fine mist. It's great for just freshening up your face or freshening up your environment. If you're traveling and you notice that your space doesn't really smell very good or maybe you just don't smell very good and you wanna just feel a little bit better. I love having that on hand, it's just fantastic. Gotta have a snack, of course. This is Lara Bar, I think it just continues to be a standby for me. So simple, this is just like apple and date and cashew, I think. Um, walnuts actually, and raisins and cinnamon and almonds. So gotta have a snack, especially if you tend to get hypoglycemic, that's a good one. Um, eye mask, this is a silk eye mask that is from Amazon, I will not lie. I did get it as a gift for Christmas from my sister-in-law, thanks. And I wear it every single night when I sleep, but these are just essential for traveling. Um, I don't think this was more than 15 or $20 and it is just so soft and great again if you have kind of sensitive skin um, and if you're not sleeping with an eye mask already and you're sensitive you need to start because it will change your sleep um yeah next thing is this sun protection you're gonna have spf with you um this is from my shell dermaceuticals and it is probably the cleanest little spf stick that i've ever seen on the market i just picked this up at Wegmans and was like wow the SPF game is really changing. Um, the main ingredient is, in this is zinc oxide, and this company, pretty much their whole thing is being reef safe, so this isn't gonna mess with any marine life when you wear it into the ocean. Big benefit. 
And then I've got here some bitters. These are chamomile bitters from Urban Moonshine. They're great if you tend to be nauseous when traveling or you just kind of, kind of have a sensitive stomach, which I certainly do. I feel like I get car sick like driving myself. Uh, I get car sick like walking around, which is just probably something in my inner ear to be honest. But you just spray a little bit in your mouth um, and it can really help with upset stomach. It can help with, um, if you get like kind of the uncomfortable tummy jitters when you're um, overly excited, it really helps with that as well. The next thing that's coming out of this goodie bag here is some CBD treats. <laughs> if you are sensitive and you're not already taking CBD regularly, I really recommend trying it out. This is a new to me brand that I just picked up that I really enjoyed the matcha version of. Um, it's called Rise and it's a CBD, basically a little mini chocolate square. And I'll actually just open it up so you guys can see what's up with it. But I love that these are travel size. Um, this is their golden milk one. It just looks like a little delightful square of chocolate. And it tastes really good. You would never know that there's CBD in here. Um, yeah, they're really delightful. They're not like so inexpensive as far as treats go. This was I think $3.50 or $4 retail just for this square. It's about 25 milligrams of CBD in a square, which is, it ain't bad. I usually need like so much more than that for it to do anything, but to each his own. And I really recommend keeping something like this and a little go back. And they also have like chocolate flavored ones. And like I said, I tried a matcha one the other day and it was awesome. Um, oh, another one of my Waleda chapsticks, shocker. They're both in there, I have so many, they're all hiding everywhere. Um, I also just happen to have floss in here, like travel with floss, man. This makes your life better and less stressful. Next thing, let's get deeper in here. Deeper into the inner well of goodness. Um, we start to get into some bigger products here. The first thing is a scarf. So scarves are awesome to keep in your little bag, um, gym bag, go bag, whatever. They're just super multifunctional. Kind of reminds me of the like hitchhiker's guide. Remember to have your towel with you. Well, remember to have your scarf with you because of course you can like cover your hair with it if you're having a bad hair day. Um, you can, if let's say you're in an environment where there's some pollution or something, you know, just wrap it around your neck and just kind of put it over your face. I totally do that when I'm in New York City, not gonna lie. Even if I look like a bougie B-I-T-C-H, I do not care. Um, it's worth it. And this is a silky guy that I got secondhand for like $2. There are lots of gorgeous silk scarves out there that you can find secondhand at thrift or consignment for like no money. So. That's a super good one to have. Um, and my super highly sensitive friend told me one of the things she does with scarves is when she's traveling, she will just wrap it around her head. Let's say she's on a plane. And then she will, if she doesn't have an eye mask, she'll just like put it up her head and just do one of these. I know it looks dumb, but when you're on a plane, like who cares? Just put it over your head. You'll feel better. Next thing, a journal, just a little mini journal. I've had this one for a really long time. Uh, and I keep like kind of adding things and then forgetting about it and then adding things But little guys like this are great for traveling Getting your thoughts out on paper just like processing your day if you're sensitive You need to process more than other people. So just let yourself have that space That's not on your phone. Like don't process your thoughts on your phone, please use paper and pen It's better for your brain And I will stand by that statement to the day that I die Next are these Samucol Effervescent Tabs. They're a vitamin C tab with elderberry. They help to support your immune system. So if you're a little afraid of anything going on with viruses in the world, these are great to have on hand. Just pop a tab into water. Uh, see if I can get this open with one hand. They just look just like this. And they just fizz up in water and they taste really good. They taste like blueberry. Um, just fantastic to have on hand. Whoa. <laughs> Dab on hand and keep in your little bag there. Nexty next is activated charcoal. This one I really specifically only recommend if you're creating a bag for yourself that's like um, 
a travel bag. So if you're traveling internationally or something like that, it's great to have these on hand just in case you pick up like a bug, like a stomach bug or something. Um, you can take one of these as soon as you land, basically once you're ex exposed to water and food in a new place for the first time and it can help to drag away any toxic things you may have imbibed accidentally. Very useful tip there. I always keep a tin of CBD balm in any bag that I carry around with me for general aches and pains, which I typically have um, in my neck or my face or my jaw or something along those lines um, most days. And this is just so good. Um, I always have this in my gym bag. So great addition for those of us who have kind of pain here and there on a day-to-day -day basis. Keep that nearby. Next are these great, I'm going to put this down for a sec. These great blue locking, blue blocking glasses. Whoa, they make me look like a like a sexy professor from the 70s who did a lot of acid. And I really like them. Mostly Logan uses these, they're a little bit dirty um, for reading at night, but you can kind of freak out your friends and family by wearing them to restaurants. But they block the blue and green spectrum, so it's gonna keep your hormones in a more balanced state. So go for it. You'll really like, you'll look very cool and a little bit woo. These are a little tilted on me right now, but they're great. And if you if you don't have these, and I'll leave a link to, to the company that makes those in my um, description, just grab some, some like Rose Sunnies. They just really improve your outlook on life. <laughs> they really do, I'm not gonna lie. And these are super dirty. Um, cause I just like had some oil on my hands and I rubbed them great. So anyway, rose colored glasses, they really do improve your life. Nexty next, keeping some sort of uh, salve in your bag, highly recommend, would be really awesome. This one's from Badger Balm. I love Badger Balm. They are good people, um, small company. This one is for sensitive and dry skin. It's unscented. If you're really sensitive to scents, I would really suggest getting unscented pretty much everything you can and just controlling the scents that you bring into your life. Um, this is a lovely salve. It's basically um, just olive oil and beeswax. And if you tend to get like cracked skin um, or you're just really dry and need moisture, this is lovely. Wow, it smells kind of just like olive and honey. Like that's some really nice beeswax they're using in there. And it's certified organic, which is always great. And I love um, packing balms that are in tins like this that are more like solids, as opposed to an oil or a cream because oils and creams spill and balms do not, which is really the, the pro way to go about putting together a bago, a good old bago. Um, speaking of balms, for an all over body balm. This one from Nourish, rose butter, really nice. You can find it at a lot of grocery stores. It smells so delightful, it's so delightful. And it's mainly shea, uh, shea, sunflower, seed oil, rosehip, seed oil, cornstarch, coconut oil. They have an organic fra fragrance, uh, rose clay, and vitamin E. So that's a really clean formulation. And like, this is the sort of thing I would, I would definitely keep in my gym bag because after you get out of the shower, you want to moisturize and use something that's really groovy. But like, once again, don't want something that might spill everywhere. This is, um, oh my God, it smells so good. And it's so simple because it's just, it's just a rose, an organic rose fragrance as far as I know. If you're a lady, Keep your dang tampon somewhere in the dang bag so you don't have to stress out every time you have a period. Come on, man. Um, and then CBD oil. I actually don't super recommend keeping an oil like this in your bag for the same reasons I just mentioned, but I do keep something like this around a lot of the time if I don't have something like a CBD edible. Um, yeah, so I would definitely suggest just some sort of CBD. This one's from Charlotte's Web. I like it, but I actually prefer a much stronger um, dose. This is a 23 milligram per serving size, um, and I usually do much higher than that. And then just a few more things. One is a water bottle. You can see that I have used the heck out of this one. The Lara Bar thing on here is completely scratched off. This is what it looks like without any sort of logo on it. Um, clearly this was gifted to me by Lara Bar. 
Uh, I love this guy because the Swell style bottles fit into a little bag really easily. And gotta have a pen for that journal, of course. And then this bag has a little zippy pocket on the inside, which I like. And the only things that I put in here that I'll mention are earplugs. These are a must have. You must put earplugs into your highly sensitive survival kit so that you can deal um, with life. Put them in when you're on the subway, um, if you are at a concert, you just always, it's so good to have earplugs in your pocket um, or in your bag at all times. And then the last thing here, this is actually just a little sample size of a um, Santa Jardin Jardin. I don't actually know how they pronounce it, but I'm pronouncing it Santa Jardin perfume um, called Celestial Patchouli that I really like. I have been really enjoying just getting these tester kits. So this is what the whole thing looks like from Santa Jardin and I really like all of the scents. Um, they're natural and they're sustainable. Um, and they help to employ women in Morocco with making their different scents. And you can kind of like try what you like. This one costs, I think like $40, not including shipping. And I know for me, like this is gonna take me a year to use up and you can play with what you like. But I like to keep a teeny tiny sample size in, in like a survival kit type of situation because I like to freshen up and feel like I always smell really, really good. It's just the thing that I have. I like to smell good all the time. And having like a tiny little spritzer like that is just so useful. And I don't have to carry like a big, even the travel size perfumes are just like a little bit too precious for me to carry around in a go bag. Um, so the tiny travel sizes are really great. And that particular one smells like heavenly patchouli, honey, vanilla, amazingness it just smells so good to me i'm wearing it right now actually and it's a little bit floral and i just love it so that's pretty much it i just hope this is helpful to you um i think it's great to just go there with the extraness of self-care as a sensitive person just create that kit for yourself even some version of this i think will be really helpful and um, let me know what you think leave a little note in the comments if you felt like there was anything that would be just awesome to keep in there i feel like the one thing that I forgot that is a must have is earbuds, the little AirPods um, or over the ear headphones that are noise canceling. And that's actually on my list of wants. I don't have noise canceling headphones, which is a bummer. Um, but yeah, the earbuds or the AirPods are really awesome to keep around with you at all times. That's probably my number one and I totally forgot about it but whatever. Um, again, leave a comment. Tell me your thoughts. Would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe and I will connect with you all very soon.